Hello users. It's Mr. Computer. Today, let's unbox Compare and Play Gunship 2000. A helicopter simulation released by Microprose in 1991 for PC compatibles and ported to the Amiga in 1993. First, let's take a look at the box. This is the Arga version for the Amiga 1200 and 4000 computers, published in 1994. It features 256 color static screens similar to the VGA version, but it is plagued by a notorious bug which affects your weapon's PK. More info on this and on how to fix it, later on. The screenshots on the back cover look stunning. Gunship 2000 is sequel to Gunship. Microprose's memorable and very successful helicopter simulator from the mid-80s. Gunship 2000 surpasses its predecessor in every way imaginable, featuring vastly improved filled polygon graphics which provide a much more detailed depiction of the ground. This makes terrain masking and nap of the earth tactics possible. In addition, the sound is far superior with better music and sound effects as well as in-game speech. The original Gunship game was dedicated to the AH-64 Apache, but in Gunship 2000, you can choose from eight attack scout and utility helicopters, each having a different cockpit layout. Furthermore, after being promoted to lieutenant you are given the option to lead a flight of helicopters and command their crews in a campaign against the enemy forces. Missions and campaigns can be flown in either the Middle Eastern or the European Theatre of Operations, each having a different terrain as well as trees and buildings. The desert is mostly flat with very few places to hide, while Europe has got more mountains to use for cover. Let's remove the sleeve and open the box. The manual and discs are inside a plastic bag. The game comes on four unprotected 3.5-inch diskettes, making backup and hard disk installation hassle-free. This is the shiny instructions manual. Its layout and drawings bring US Army manuals to mind, setting the mood for the game. 
Apart from offering a detailed description of the game, it also serves as its copy protection since you will be asked for a GPS code before entering the cockpit. You will have to look it up in this manual's pages. Next is the registration card. Then the technical supplement for the Amiga 1200 urging you to back up your diskettes or even better, install the game to hard disk using the installer program provided. Furthermore, you are informed of the in-game configuration screen, but also given the sad news that the mission replay section is not implemented in the Amiga release. Finally, there's the key control summary card with a list of all in-game keys. Let's take another look at the box and its contents. Gunship 2000 was originally released in 1991 for PC compatibles. It featured detailed and colorful VGA graphics as well as good audio with support for sound cards such as Adlib and the Sound Blaster. Incoming left. All flights are saved and can be played back at the flight recorder screen. In 1992, an expansion disc was published, featuring a mission editor as well as two additional theaters of operations. Namely, Antarctica and the Philippines. Target left. The Amiga conversion was published in 1993, along with the NEC PC version. It could run adequately even on low-end machines and the OCS graphics, although less colorful compared to VGA, still looked very nice. The only thing missing from this release is the flight recorder, while the flight model is slightly simplified compared to that of the PC version. In 1994, the enhanced version for Arga Amigas and the CD32 was released featuring the 256 color static screens of the VGA, as well as improved sound effects. Target front. Although the intro was missing from the Arga release, the CD32 featured a 3D introduction and more CD music tracks. On the other hand, as with Arga the in-game graphics and cockpits remained unchanged looking identical to OCS.
Gameplay-wise, the Argo versions were plagued by a notorious bug, or more precisely a game-balancing feature which rendered the player's missiles ineffective when commanding a group of helicopters. So there was no point in arming your helicopter with anything other than the gun when flying a campaign, since rockets and missiles were bound to miss. Fortunately, my user made a patch some years ago which fixes this problem. You'll find a video about it on my channel, along with download and installation instructions. Basically, you only need to run the installer once and follow its instructions for your copy to be fixed. In 1996, the PlayStation version was released featuring improved texture-mapped graphics and better sound. The gameplay was rather arcade-oriented. Now, feel free to take the gunner's seat as we take off on a single mission in the Apache. Target right. Target right.
Target left. Target front. Incoming right. Target right. Target left. Target front. Target front. Target right. Target right. Target right. Target right. Target right. Target front. Target right. Incoming front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Incoming front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Incoming front. Target front. 
Target front. Target front. Incoming front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target primary, target achieved. Target front. Target left. Target left. Target left. Target left. Target left. Target right. Target front. Incoming front. Target right. Target right. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front.
coming left. Target front. Incoming front. Incoming front. We're hit. Incoming rear. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Incoming front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Target front. Secondary target. Target front. Target front. Coming right.
target front. Target, target front. Target, target front. Target left. Target front. That was a memorable helicopter simulator. Did you play it users? That's all for today. Until next time, here are some more videos for you.